He also worked at the after school program um, beyond 3.30. So, and he also supplied toilet food to the public school where I work. So we would talk when I would go to Lawrence Heights. He played with my children. I brought them over there. So, you know, we had that type of relationship. More social than professional. What will you miss most about him? Um, I, I was happy that we finally had you know, a Muslim teacher in the area. Um, I mean, the population is, it's a highly Muslim population student body in that area. So it was nice to have a Muslim teacher there, a young man there, who, he inspired everyone. You know, so it was, that's, I think that's what I'm going to miss, that we had that presence there. Um, whether you're Muslim or not, the students respected him. And, um, it was just an inspiration to them. Any issues that they had, whether it be religious or academic, social, anything. Um, if they had any concerns about the area that they were living in, he was he had a little bit here for them, and they felt comfortable speaking to him. Obviously, this the crime that took his life so senseless, hard for anybody to make sense of. Um, most notably children. What have you heard from uh, from kids who knew him about how they're you know, coming to terms with how he died? Um, when I was at the school, I mean, really there was just a lot of silence, you know, and if they were, talk if they were talking, they were just talking about him and what, they, what he meant to them. Um, they didn't really talk about it because anytime they mentioned it, they were just really angry. You know, like, this is so senseless, why him? Not that anybody deserves to be gunned down. You know, they just they can't wrap their heads around it. Which is every time you think that you know the community is progressing and things are moving forward, then something tragic like this happens and you feel like you're right back to square one. So you know it's I don't know how to describe the mood, you know, but just seeing the outpouring of support gives you some hope. You know, there's a ray of sunshine. What would Apshir say to this outpouring of love? All these students, all these people from the community. I don't know. Like he's a very private person, so I think this this would be a lot for him. Like uh, he's very humble, so uh, I think he he would actually be shocked. <laughs> I don't even know if he knows the impact. Uh, we've heard that he was a very positive person, that he could turn anything, any negative thing into a positive. How do you think he would see the positive in what's happened? The community has lost a, you know, a beloved member, as we're told. Um, hopefully this will discourage anyone from, from doing that again. Um, hopefully the community, as I said, whether you're Muslim, you're Christian, Jewish, they've all banded together and hopefully this will be something that will keep the community, I guess, going in a way, like fellowship, friendship, um, a purpose, you know, to maybe people who did see something will come out and help so they can solve this crime. Thank you so much. And your name once again? Rhonda Bent. Bent, B-E-N-T-R-H-O-N-D-A. Yes. Did you end your...